The Dragon Balls play a very important role in the entire Dragon Ball franchise, and often finds himself being the center of the plot. The Dragon Balls are the namesake of the Dragon Ball series. There are seven orange crystalline spheres with the ability to call forth the eternal dragon who can grant a single wish to the person who gathers them. In Dragon Ball episode 33, Legend of a Dragon, Master Roshi speaks of a legend he has heard about, which is the origin of the Dragon Balls. Here's how the legend goes. At first, there was only a single ball. The ball was a single large ball that was said to be a gift from the gods themselves. The people built a temple to worship the dragon within the ball, and they lived peacefully, but eventually evil grew within the heart of mankind. People used the dragon ball for their own selfish reasons, and that led to many wars. This angered the gods, so they divided the dragon ball into seven balls and scattered them throughout the world. That way, people wouldn't use them so recklessly. Greedy people still continued to pursue the Dragon Ball. Some of them actually succeeded in gathering all seven and gained a tremendous power. Well, this legend is false. And in this video, I will be explaining the origin of the Dragon Balls. And I will also be explaining every single type of Dragon Balls and the eternal dragon that resides within them. There are seven Dragon Balls. When all seven are gathered together, the eternal dragon Shenron will be summoned. Shenron is a kind-hearted dragon, but can sometimes be aggressive. He can also be impatient when, a, when that person that summons him takes too long to make their wish. He will grant you a single wish. The Dragon Balls were originally created by Kami. Shenron can grant wishes as long as it is within his power and doesn't surpass the creator's power. This includes killing enemies that surpass the power of the creator. He also will not grant wishes that creates love and he does not grant the same wish twice. He can only revive someone that has died from an unnatural cause. After the wish is granted, the Dragon Balls will scatter across the planet and turn to stone and won't be usable for an entire year. If the creator of Shenron is dead, the Dragon Balls will remain stone. There has been many struggles to obtain the seven Dragon Balls. There was a struggle against the Pilaf gang. Then there was the war against the Red Ribbon Army and also a battle against the Demon King Piccolo. The fight for the Dragon Balls got more intense when the Saiyans Nappa and Vegeta came to Earth in pursuit of immortality. The worst conflict that involved Dragon Balls was the struggle against Frieza and his forces on the planet Namek. This resulted in the mass genocide of the Namekian race. Now let's move on to the Namekian Dragon Balls, which are the second set of Dragon Balls that were introduced in the Dragon Ball series. The Namekian Dragon Balls are similar to Earth's in appearance, but are much larger. Krillin compares them to basketballs. Each Dragon Ball is kept in a different Namekian village, while the One Star Ball is kept with the Grand Elder Guru, whose life force is linked with the Dragon Balls like Kami's. When gathered, the Eternal Dragon Purunga will be summoned. Purunga is kind-hearted like Shenron, but can also be aggressive and impatient. But unlike Shenron, he has a sense of humor. In order to summon him, you must know the Namekian language. He can also only grant wishes if you state them in Namekian. Unlike Shenron, Purunga can grant three wishes. He will also grant the same wish repeatedly, unlike Shenron who will grant your wish once. Purunga can only revive one person per wish. When a Namekian known as Mori became the Grand Elder, the Dragon Ball's powers became altered to bring countless people back to life with only one wish. A similar situation happened on Earth when Dende became the new guardian of Earth. He altered the dragon he created new Dragon Balls, giving Shenron the ability to grant three wishes. Now the next sets of Dragon Balls that I'm gonna be going through are only appear on Dragon Ball GT, which means they are non-canon, but still pretty badass concept. So now I'm gonna talk about the Black Star Dragon Balls. The Black Star Dragon Balls were created by the nameless Namekian who is King Piccolo and Kami before they split in two. The Black Star Dragon Balls look identical to Earth's Dragon Balls, just that uh, the stars are black, like the name says. Uh, when they're gathered, the Eternal Dragon Ultimate Shenron can be summoned. Ultimate Shenron is larger than Shenron and Porunga combined. His head alone is as big as the lookout. Ultimate Shenron will grant only one wish, but unlike Shenron, it can be anything. He'll even kill for you. Unlike the Dragon Balls, instead of scattering across the planet and turning to stone for an entire year, the Black Star Dragon Balls scatter across the entire universe. 
but do not become stone. They can be used when gathered again. The Black Star Dragon Balls are so powerful that in order to reverse a wish, a second wish must be made using the said balls. The same Black Star Dragon Balls. The only time a wish was reversed without using any Dragon Balls was when Goku reversed the wish that made him a kid. Emperor Pilaf used the Black Star Dragon Balls to wish Goku into a kid and Goku was so powerful when he transformed into a Super Saiyan 4, he became an adult again, only when in that form. The Black Star Dragon Balls are very dangerous. With even the slightest and most simple wish, the planet that the wish was made on will explode due to the negative energy within the Dragon Balls if they aren't returned to the planet that the wish was made on in a year's time. They must also be brought to the original spot. Next I want to talk about negative energy within the original Dragon Balls. When a wish is made with the Dragon Balls, negative energy is created alongside with the wish granting energy. To prevent any problems from arising, the Dragon Balls absorb the negative energy. After 100 years, all of the negative energy within the Dragon Balls will disperse. Since the Dragon Balls can only hold a limited amount of energy, the Dragon Balls turn to stone after every wish to harmlessly allow some of the negative energy to seep out since it would only take many years, since it would usually take many years for someone to find all seven again. This natural order was disrupted when BOMA decided to create the Dragon Radar, which made finding the Dragon Balls a whole lot easier. This allowed the Z Fighters to continuously use the Dragon Balls over and over again. During Dragon Ball GT, the Dragon Balls reached their maximum capacity of negative energy and therefore began to crack. When Goku summoned Shenron to restore Earth after the battle against Super 17, all of the negative energy throughout the years came out all at once and manifested itself into Black Smoke's Shenron. Black Smoke Shenron is a rude and impolite douchebag who will smoke a cigar and blow his smoke in your face. He is a reflection of all the negative energy used to manifest him. Black Smoke Shenron can split into seven separate dragons who each have a Dragon Ball inside of them. These dragons are known as the Shadow Dragon. Now next I'm going to be getting into video game Dragon Ball lore. Starting with the Kanton City Dragon. In the Dragon Ball Z universe timeline, there was a rumor going around Toki Toki that questioned the power of the divine beings such as the Supreme Kai of Time and the Elder Kai. So Kai of Time decided to show her power off to the time patrollers residing in Toki Toki City by using her power to animate the dragon statue on the Dragon Ball pedestal. The dragon began to move as if it was alive, but her power caused the dragon to grow. In fact, it grew so large it destroyed Toki Toki City. The ruined city was being overflowed with time rifts, so the Kai of Time transformed Toki Toki City into Kanton City. Now the dragon floats in the sky of Kanton City. He does not grant any wishes. He just floats there, staring at you. Next, I want to talk about the Dark Dragon Balls, which appear in Dragon Ball Heroes. Dark Dragon Balls are a set of Dragon Balls created by a time brick and a Mechian. These Dragon Balls are red and have black stars. In the Super Dragon Ball Heroes Dark Demon Realm Mission Manga, it is revealed that they were created by demon gods in order to revive, I'm um, sorry if I butcher his name, Mechi Kabura, Mechi Kabura. After they were created by the Time Break and the Mechians, the demon Dragon Balls scattered throughout time and space. Now Toa aims to collect all seven demonic Dragon Balls in order to restore Mechi Kabura's youth. These Dragon Balls have the ability to merge with evil entities and power them up. They can also grant wishes. The Eternal Dragon of the Demon Dragon Balls has not yet been revealed, but a possible candidate for that role would be Mr. Poco Poco. Mr. Poco Poco is a demonic Eternal Dragon who works for the Dark Namekians who are allied with the Time Breakers in Dragon Ball Online. He resembles Parunga but also has a few similarities to Mr. Popo. And now, last but not least, the Super Dragon Balls. These Dragon Balls appeared in the newest installment of the Dragon Ball franchise, Dragon Ball Super. The Super Dragon Balls are a set of planet-sized Dragon Balls created by the Dragon God, Zalama. The Super Dragon Balls are the very first and original Dragon Balls which was created on year 41 on the Divine Calendar. The eternal dragon that resides in the Super Dragon Balls is considered the Dragon of Gods. 
In order to summon the dragon, you must say, Come forth, dragon of gods, and grant my wish, pretty peace. <laughs> In the language of the gods, of course. Doing this will summon the eternal dragon, Super Shenron. Super Shenron is not only the largest dragon, but also the largest creature in the entire Dragon Ball franchise, being larger than multiple galaxies between Universe 6 and 7. During the conclusion of the Universe 6 saga, Beerus gets his wish granted by the core of Super Shenron, which is a smaller version of himself within his colossal body. Well, that does it for all of the Dragon Balls in the entire Dragon Ball franchise. If you guys enjoy videos like these, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content when the video ends. I'll see you guys around.